Hey, what's up, bodybuilding fans? It's Phil Heath, the gift, your three-time Mission Olympia, here at the East Coast Mecca. What else can I say? Bev Francis, baby. We're here to uh, do some back training. Um, 10 weeks out before the 2014 Mr. Olympia contest, uh, the 50th anniversary, of course, and uh, I must say I'm very, very, very excited. Um, getting ready to go against all these amazing athletes, as I always do. And what better way to get a good weekend, a weekend of training here in Syosset, Long Island, Bev Francis, we're gonna get it in. Um, you know, right now I'm just really, really pumped. Uh, a lot of people realize that uh, this I'm going for my fourth consecutive standout title. It's very, very crazy, very, very stressed sometimes, but I must say that your involvement through the NPC and the IPB, obviously, has, uh, you know, really, really helped me out. Uh, obviously, the guys over at NPC News Online are bringing this uh, training session to you, so shout out to them, and uh, make sure you log on and uh, support them as well on their Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, you name it, because uh, they're the, they are the ones that are giving you this inside footage. As you guys know, I normally don't do a whole lot of training um, during the Olympia uh, online, so uh, I think you're in for a treat. We're going to do some back, like I said. We're going to do a few uh, exercises before I head on over to White Plains, New York, and uh, do a guest posing tonight. And, you know, uh, real quick about me, I'm, you know, obviously I'm 10 weeks out. I'm uh, weighing in at 270 pounds. Um, I think I'm a little bit leaner this time around. Uh, so mm -hmm. I'm having to really stay on top of my eating, uh, which is definitely something that I always challenge with because eating seven, eight times a day, I mean, the amount of food that we have to consume, you know, roughly about 5,000, a little bit over that, 5,000 calories a day, especially while training, is uh, really difficult. I primarily came out here for two purposes. One, to go kick the hell out of some weights, and two, to be with you guys. And then I will say three, I just came out with my own supplement line called Gifted Nutrition. You can definitely check that out on giftednutrition.com. Got the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram page, rocking and rolling. Uh, shout out to the crew over there. Uh, we've been really doing some cool things. We just got an article in Forbes magazine as well, which is definitely something unparalleled in our industry. So I'm um, definitely trying to be that ambassador of the sport like we always talk about. You know, obviously, when you're Mr. Olympia champion, you definitely want to be accepted uh, amongst the more mainstream magazines, not just in bodybuilding, but in all aspects, because a lot of people work out. You know, we're at this gym right now, and there's plenty of people that don't compete, but there's plenty of people in here that are bodybuilders. So, uh, yeah, you know, I'm living the dream, and uh, hopefully you can kind of see my perspective on the training. After we get done, I'll give you guys some tips here and there, and uh, let's get to it. So, most recently, I was um, considered to be what we call a free agent in our industry, where I was looking for a type of sponsorship with a uh, supplement company. I was in contact with a company by the name of Gifted Nutrition. They actually um, hit me up immediately and provided me um, their product list um, and their vision. Um, they were really adamant about high quality supplements, um, living a kind of a gifted lifestyle, uh, making sure that the customers were being listened to and they just needed a nice piece of their puzzle given the fact that they didn't have any athletes, but they had the products. You had about 24 different types of SKUs, but they only came up with four leading into the Olympia that they said, well, who can we sign that's going to have this type of uh, mentality that we share? And I just happened to be available. So that worked out really, really good. We were able to ink a deal um, just a day ago, actually. So right now I'm trying to figure out what other exercise I can do. So it's a little different when you travel around the world. I'm trying to figure out what machines will work best for you. So a lot of the time, you may not go as heavy because you're trying to really feel the muscle more than anything and make sure that just because it says the same name on the equipment, it may not feel the same. You're almost always training 
it'd be like when I played basketball in college, it'd be like never having a home game. If you know what I mean? You're always on the road, so the rims are different, the court is different, the fans are different, everything's different. The hotels are different. You're not sleeping in the same room, you're not eating the same type of meal, even though you think you are. So your best, the only way you get past that is, is try to have more method to your madness. I mean, you gotta keep in mind <clears throat> your technique and your tempo is gonna be key. A huge integral part of bodybuilding. You know, you get guys that are gonna probably outlift you at something, but can they build more muscle than you? And that's really the key. Finest detail, understanding of you know, tempo, time and attention, things like that. Tempo and technique, time and attention. Three threes? Did I just make that up? So, probably gonna move on from here and uh, probably do some rowing movements. I think uh, that's definitely gonna get it going. My lats are really pumped right now. Kind of feel like those guys that walk around the gym. Always want to like, for some reason, want to give them luggage or something. But uh, as you can see, the diet is kicking in, but at the same time, I try to have a smile and try to have fun with what I'm doing. So we're gonna move on. Moving faster than normal because we got places to go. We gotta go to the show. So yeah, another way to get good cardio out of a workout is kind of shorten up your resting period. A lot of guys, you know, take like three to five minutes in between sets, you know, whether they be checking the Facebook, doing Instagram, selfie in the mirror, or whatever it is. I mean, obviously when you get ready for the Olympia, I mean, you're doing cardio and all that stuff, but you can get a little bit out of it in here, which makes it beneficial. I mean, you may not, I think the hardest part is, is that you may lose a little bit of strength, but you get a little bit more muscle endurance too, which I definitely believe, you know, helps create a little bit more density and roundness at the same time. I've utilized that throughout most of my career. That's why I usually feel like I come in my best shape. Because if I just focus just on strength, like during a prep, you know, I may be bigger, but I wouldn't be as uh, defined. But obviously while you're training for a show, I mean, your strength starts dropping and you're gonna get small, so you have to definitely keep a decent amount of weight. Um, we've had a great success so far. We were actually featured in Forbes. Um, they gave us a great spread on Forbes online, and you know that's something that I can honestly be proud of and, and say that they appointed me president of this company, being a partner as well. They allowed me to be the chief, chief visionary for this particular company, which allows me to have a say-so on what is being made and what's going to get dropped. Um, being a professional bodybuilder, obviously being Mr. Olympia, you know uh, what has worked for you, and you've listened to people throughout your life uh, of what doesn't work for them. And now I have the opportunity to give them what everybody calls what's the secret. The secret is, is this, 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 and this, and you'll be able to find out more as I get ready for the Mr. Olympia contest on giftednutrition.com. So usually we're going to do anywhere from four to five different exercises, usually three working sets, sometimes four. Um, so far, this is our fourth exercise. Right now, I kind of feel like a kid in a candy store because, I mean, there's so much damn back equipment. <laughs> kind of want to try a little bit of everything. And this is where you kind of get to explore, like, different movements that you normally wouldn't do because you're on the road and, you know, maybe a little limited. So, uh, I mean, this piece of equipment right here, we don't necessarily have in my gym, so just trying to get a feel for it, take advantage of it, and see what I can do. <laughs> But really, all in all, making sure I get that time and attention that we're talking about, tempo and technique. So that's what makes the muscles grow, regardless of the poundage. So we'll get another set here. 
Keep moving. It's really an honor and a privilege to be a part of a team such as this because, you know, usually bodybuilders, as we all know, have had the greatest opportunity to represent various companies, um, traveling around the world, meeting fans. I've been able to do that as well. But taking that out of the equation, what's going to happen when bodybuilding on that stage is over with? And usually um, you're left with various options. Um, being a former Division I athlete, I was left with those same questions when I played my very last basketball game in college. What am I going to do? Where am I going to work? Where am I going to live? Um, the, the key was graduate college, <laughs> which I was able to do at the University of Denver, graduating in business management and also IT. But uh, with bodybuilding, um, I've seen a lot of guys come and go, and I've seen a lot of opportunities missed. And one of the greatest things that I've tried to do in my career is seize the moment. And that's what I'm doing right here. I'm not starting this company on my decline in the industry or retired from the industry. I'm taking a huge risk, as some people may feel, doing it while the iron is hot. And I don't necessarily look at it as pressure. I look at it as more opportunity because using my likeness and having the uh, right mentality, the right focus in the same look, I'm going to share with you exactly what I'm taking. I know a lot of people think, oh, you know, he's only paid for this company. He's just going to tell us what he takes and he doesn't really, he's using 10 other products in his house. I want you to challenge yourself and I want you to challenge me into seeing what I'm actually taking. I'm formulating and I'm helping give perspective on these formulations based on what I want, based on what I feel is going to help me win. And the proof is going to be in the performance, not just mine, but with the products standing alone by themselves being, um, you know, critiqued by many, many people, many, many customers. Um, we are also FDA compliant. Um, by the way, I'm lactose intolerant and I'm actually able to take our protein with no problem. We actually have um, a video of how our uh, bioavailability with our whey protein uh, actually mixes on its own and you can use a straw and actually mix it up. Not too many companies can say they can do that. We'll definitely be having a booth at the Mr. Olympia and I challenge everyone to go on their Facebook and uh, give us your comments. We're, we're definitely on there. We're definitely interacting and uh, we're definitely going to change the world. Before I leave, I just want to say thank you to all the fans, all the people that support the sport of bodybuilding, all the people that just happened to watch this video um, that was shared on, online. Um, shout out to Steve Weinberger and Bev Francis for having me in. Um, also with my partner in crime, Joey Firestone. He was able to come in and push me uh, for this back training workout 10 weeks out for the Mr. Olympia contest. And uh, be sure to check us out um, on my website, www.philipheath.com and also at giftednutrition.com. And of course, NPC News Online.